Okay, now for one of the, excuse me, one of the trickier uh, types of uh, dissections. Um, not in terms of tough or anything like that, but there are a couple of tricky spots. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the upper arm muscles. We'll take a look at the, the humeral muscles as well as the radial and ulnar muscles. To do that, what you're going to do is you're going to want to cut away a lot of this fascia, like this, and separate out all the arm muscles. Now the reason I'm showing this is because there's one place I want you to be very, very careful with. Um, as you cut away, this fascia comes in a lot of layers to expose all of your forearm muscles. But right along here with the blood vessel, there's a very, very thin strip of muscle that most students will actually cut off accidentally. They won't even know that there was a muscle in there. And that's called the brachioradialis muscle. So you want to be very, very careful Again, it's right in there, and I can start to see a little thin strip of muscle right, right here. That strip of muscle follows on top of the rest of the arm right here. It's not part of the bundle of muscles right inside here. This is the brachioradialis muscle. It's called that because it runs from the brachial muscle down along the radius. Now, I've dissected the other arm of the cat so you can see that. Here's the blood vessel as it follows down and here's this strip this is actually blood vessel on top here's the strip of muscle right here of the brachioradialis now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the upper arm first both the lateral side as well as the medial side so the back is up the dorsal is up right now we're looking at the lateral side of the arm here's a triceps muscle and it's called triceps because it has three heads it's got one right here I can follow this line Here's the lateral head. Here's the kind of more posterior head. And if I flip the cat over, I know I'm zoomed in a lot so you can't quite get a bit, uh, feel for it. But if I zoom in here, we're going to also see a medial head of, of the cat. Okay, so this is the triceps right here. Again, this is going to be the pectoral muscles. Now, it's actually important to know where that is because we're going to be exposing something underneath that. Let me go back to the lateral side. We're going to expose this lateral head for a very specific reason. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down at the distal end, again, using the terminology of proximal and distal, we're at the distal end of our lateral tricep. You'll see some other people will actually um, identify this muscle from the medial side, which is okay. I actually prefer to do it from the lateral side. You can see it a little bit better without cutting through other muscles. But as I separate this out, I've got the deltoid on top of the arm. And as I look and pull that deltoid away, separate that out, a little bit of fascia. Again, the triceps sat like this. I'm going to, this is what we call a reflection. We reflect that muscle back. Directly underneath on the lateral side, we're going to see the brachialis muscle. And it's easy enough to, if you remember it's the brachialis muscle, then you can identify this strip of a muscle right here, which is the brachioradialis. Again, it runs right from the brachial muscle down along on top of the radius. Okay, so we can see it from that side. Now since I'm in this view, we can also take a look at the forearm muscles. Now I've separated out, you're going to have to cut through a lot of fascia to see that, but I've separated out some of the muscles. Here's one of the muscles here that is actually, there's two muscles rather than just the one. If I can get this to focus, got it just a little bit too close. There's actually two muscles here. And you have to really, really be careful in separating this out because you'll cut one of them. And a lot of students get stuck right at this point. There we go. You got it to pop out a little bit. Again, there's just fascia sitting over the top. So now, if I were to follow this, what we're seeing It separates out. So here's one. Now we're talking just forearm muscles. I'm not talking the brachioradialis muscle. Two, three, 
four, five muscles. Okay. So if I take a look at those, they're named, I always start from the top. Okay, here's the brachioradialis again. Here's one landmark. Now here's the first of the muscles. I'm looking, uh, this is the thumb side, so this is the radial bone that's underneath. So the first of these muscles of extensors, we're on the lateral side of the arm to remind you. Here's the external carpal, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, extensor carpi radialis longus. It starts very flat this way, very horizontal, or very vertical, and then it's going to wrap around and become very flat or horizontal this way. It's a real long muscle. It goes from all the way from here all the way up to the wrist itself. Now directly underneath that is the, it's very similar in, in name, these are all descriptive, extensor carpi radialis brevis. Brevis means short or brief. So this is a little bit shorter muscle than the longest actually is. Now, so we've got one, two extensor carpi radialis muscles. Then we go down to the next set of muscles. And if I separate out the fascia from there, we're going to see that we've got one that's really big and it's actually, if I were to dissect this out a little bit more, you'd actually see two tendon heads here. This is called the ex, uh, extensor digitorum communis. Communis, like community. It's actually two heads coming into one muscle, so it's forming a community with that muscle. Okay. Then the other one is called the extensor digitorum lateralis. It's the most lateral of all these muscles before it starts wrapping around. Okay. So you've got two carpes, you've got two digitorum muscles, and the last one is going to be an, another uh, carpi muscle, but now it's on the pinky side, so this is the extensor carpi ulnaris. It's on the ulnaris side rather than the radial side. So again, to review, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis right here, and here's the extensor carpi ulnaris. Okay, we've got the deltoid on top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the cat, spin him around a little bit so we can get a better shot. Again, we've got the deltoid up here. Here's where the pecto antibrachialis is. And basically these are all the pectoral muscles. Right here is going to be where our triceps is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lift up the pectoral muscle. and separate that off from the medial head of the triceps brachii. In doing that, I'm actually not cutting, I'm just separating the muscle attachment. In doing that, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to be, and end up exposing your biceps brachii. It's not good enough to just call it biceps because we have a biceps in our femur or in our lower leg as well. Okay, so a little bit of that. What I've done is I have exposed, I've lifted up the pecto antibrachialis, I've pulled down the medial head of the triceps brachii, and, or, yes, yeah, triceps brachii, and what I'm going to see is the biceps brachii right underneath. So I can actually cover that up again. Deltoid on top, pecto antibrachialis, I lift up, I pull down the medial head, and here is the biceps brachii. Now on this view, what we'll see are two things. And I only have, uh, you guys know, two things out of the forearm. Okay, here's where the radius is. You can see uh, even the brachioradialis right here. Okay, I only have, you know, two flexors. You guys are lucky. I only gave you two instead of all of them. Down here on the very bottom most side, so this is the most ulnar side. Remember, the radius is up here. The ulna is down here. Down here is going to be where your flexor carpi ulnaris is. Now remember, if I worked my way laterally, you're going to see the extensor carpi ulnaris. This is the most bottommost one. This is the flexor carpi ulnaris. The only other muscle that I'm going to have you know is this big one right here. And it leads directly from the point of the elbow all the way up to the paw. So it leads right into the palm of the hand of the cat. And this is called the palmaris longus. Those are the flexors. There's two flexors and five extensors with that.